Welcome to the Viking Repair Parts video. My name is Sean Kramer and I will be walking you through step by step for the repair parts of the Viking Model J1 flow control valve. Here are the tools that will be needed to install the repair parts. Prior to working on the Model J1 flow control valve, refer to the appropriate data sheets for placing the system out of service. We will be covering the installation of the seat replacement kit in the J1 flow control valve. To replace the seat, we will first need to open the union on top of the priming chamber and move the associated trim in order to access the cover. With the cover now disconnected from the trim, we can remove the cover screws from the cover of the valve. With the cover screws removed, we can now remove the cover from the valve using caution as it is under spring tension. The spring will also be removed with the cover. The clapper assembly is not bolted or screwed down into the valve and is assembled as a single part. To remove the clapper assembly, you will need to gently place a flathead screwdriver in between the body and the upper diaphragm. This will allow you to remove the clapper assembly. With the clapper assembly now removed, the valve seat is now exposed. To remove the seat, remove each of the screws that are connecting the seat to the valve body. With the screws removed, we can now remove the seat and the O-ring from the valve. To install the new seat, the O-ring lubricant will need to be applied to the groove in the bottom of the seat. Once the lubricant is applied, the O-ring can be installed into the groove of the seat. The seat